Hi, it took you a while to get here, but it's going to be a good day. My name's Matt, and I'm going to be running through with you a brief presentation on how to sell the Mighty Dwarf speaker system. Thanks for coming. What we need to go through first is a, an explanation of the different parts of the Mighty Dwarf speaker. The Mighty Dwarf consists of essentially three different pieces. There's the speaker, there's the power cord, and then there's the amp. And I'll run through each of these different pieces for you. The power cord is an internationally uh, acceptable device. And what happens is when you plug it in anywhere in the world, it will adapt itself to the voltage of that particular power supply. The second thing is that the Mighty Dwarf has the main speaker unit. The main speaker unit consists of the unit and a sound contact surface. The sound contact surface is really important and has to be maintained by the user and as well as you as the demonstrator. The last piece is the connection between the Mighty Dwarf and the power supply. That's the amp. The amp is this little box that is here and the amp has three buttons a power button which is located in the center and then a volume control up and down the amp has two leads that are run off it one is connecting the power to the mighty dwarf speaker and the second one connects it to the device that you're going to be playing so with all those different parts in play let's go through the next process Part of the fun associated with the ownership of a Mighty Dwarf speaker is the different sounds that you're going to be getting from the different surfaces that it's going to come in contact with. And that's where you get to experiment. Placing the Mighty Dwarf speaker on different surfaces will give you different sound quality. Also, you have to maintain the surface that it's on to make sure that there's not objects that would cause a vibration that would deteriorate your sound quality. So, play around with it and have fun and then when you determine where the best sound quality is for that particular application, you're in business. Before you begin doing your demonstration, it's important that you do some maintenance on your Mighty Dwarf speaker and on the surfaces that you're going to be using uh, to create the sound. In order to maintain the Mighty Dwarf, you need to keep the sound contact surface, the gray pad, clean. The way that you would do this is take it to a sink dip your finger in water and rub the surface of the Mighty Dwarf speaker until any debris is loosened. You would then take a clean cloth and dry and remove the rest of the debris. When you go out to your sound surface or the soundboard, you'll also need to wipe off any debris that's on that soundboard. This will allow the Mighty Dwarf to adhere to that surface and improve the sound quality. So let's go through how to set up the Mighty Dwarf for a demonstration. First you're going to take the power adapter and plug it into the wall. You'll notice that there is an LED light on the adapter that will illuminate. Next you're going to be taking the amp and connecting the power cord to the amp. You're then going to be placing your finger in the center button and pressing it. A blue LED light will illuminate. You'll then take the smaller of the two bayonets and connect it to the Mighty Dwarf speaker itself. The third thing is your uh, sound source or your recording device. You're going to connect it with the larger bayonet, the 3.5 millimeter bayonet, to the device like the back Blackberry or the iPod. You're going to press the up button or volume up button on the amp eight times and then you're ready to go. You're going to place the Mighty Dwarf on a clean surface and begin to experiment with the sounds that you're going to get. So now let's go off and uh, set up a Mighty Dwarf speaker demonstration. When you're setting up for a retail demonstration, you have to think of certain issues. First, you're gonna need the power for the Mighty Dwarf. The adapter for the Mighty Dwarf is approximately six feet long, so you need to be able to be within six feet of a power source. You take your adapter and you plug it into the power source. 
The second thing is this piece here. This is your amp. What you would do is you would take the adapter and plug it into the amp. You're then going to be placing your finger on the middle button and press it once. You'll see that a blue light will illuminate and it'll tell you that the amp now has power. There's two buttons on either side. One is for up and the other one is for down. That's your volume control. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the up button eight times. You're then going to be taking this piece here, which is your uh, input, the power import into, into the Mighty Dwarf, and plug it into the socket located on the side. You'll also notice that there's a piece of protective paper that's on the bottom of the sound conductive surface. This needs to be removed in order to make an effective demonstration. You need to keep this to keep this area free from debris when it's in storage and transportation. You're then going to be checking the surface of the Mighty Dwarf, the sound contact surface, to see if it's clean. If it isn't, you're going to be taking it to the sink, dipping your finger in water, and rubbing the contact surface to loosen any debris. When that's done, you're going to take a clean, damp cloth and wipe the surface to ensure that the debris has been removed. The next thing that you need to worry about is the contact surface or the soundboard. Again, with a clean cloth, you're going to wipe that surface to make sure that it is also free of debris. The next thing that you're going to need for a demonstration is the sound or the recording device. Now that's going to be supplied ideally by the customers coming into your store you're going to be going over and asking customers if they brought music with them today. Some will, some won't, but in our findings, six out of 10 of the customers coming into your store will gladly let you listen to the music that they have in their pocket. That could be an iPhone, a Blackberry, an MP3, an MP4, anything that takes this 3.5 millimeter bayonet or an earphone jack will work. So the next thing is, we'll need to find a customer with some sound. So now this is where the fun begins. This is when you are going to be demonstrating the Mighty Dwarf to real customers. Now this is also when you're naturally a little bit nervous. What I want you to do is put yourself at ease. What you're going to be doing is showing the customer something that they're really going to be interested in seeing. Remember that we know from our study that 6 out of 10 people entering your store are carrying music in their pocket and all you're going to be doing is asking those people to share their music with you. Now I see a gentleman over here, hey Sean come here for a second. Sean's a young guy, he probably has music. Do you have any music with you Sean you can help me out today? Uh, yeah I got my cell phone here. Excellent. So Sean's got an iPhone here. Sean can you take this uh, 3.5 millimeter bayonet otherwise known as an earphone jack and cl plug it into your device? Okay. Sean, what you're about to see today is called the Mighty Dwarf Speaker System. This is a revolution, an innovation in acoustic technology. So here you go. What I want you to do is select some music for me. Okay. Now, you as a retailer are going to be concerned that Sean here, who's a little bit of a rebel, is going to be putting something that's inappropriate on his device to play. Don't worry about it, because the way that you're going to counteract that is get more people involved in the demonstration. Hey, come on over here. We're going to demonstrate this uh, product for you. It's really cool. Sean is now uh, going to be nervous about putting on an appropriate song. So that's going to uh, alleviate your problem. So, Sean, do you got your song picked up? I got my song. Excellent. What I want you to do is just start playing it. Okay. Amazing. What do you think? Mm, that is your song being played through the Mighty Dwarf speaker. What do you think so far? Not that loud. Well, you see, this is where the fun for Sean begins. Sean, the Mighty Dwarf needs a solid, hard surface in order to turn that surface into a speaker. So try it. Put it on the table and give it a little push. So now we have a speaker being created from this surface. That is cool. So Sean, what I want you to do is play with different things in the room and see what they sound like. Different surfaces will give you different sounds, so you can try it on virtually any surface in the thing. But it has to be a solid, hard, flat surface, so your hand okay. absorbs the energy. So does your head. 
<laughs> so what we would do is let Sean play with the device. If there's other people in this demonstration, let them feel what it feels like when it's not in contact with the surface, and when it is in contact with the surface, they would hear the sounds. So at this stage, what you're going to be doing is introducing Sean to the idea of where he would use this. Sean, is this the type of thing that you'd be interested in? I think so. What about uh, people on your Christmas shopping list? What about, Definitely. Uh, what about birthdays? Do you see that people can use this? This works on virtually any device that takes that earphone jack. So that's you. iPhone, iPod, MP3, Blackberries, laptops, PCs, DVDs, CDs, EIEIOs, anything that wow. you have will be able to work with that. The other so thing cool. is, Sean, is that uh, this is, this is uh, available virtually only in this store. Really? Really. So I'm glad that you came and uh, tried out the Mighty Dwarf for me. Can you do me a favor? Sure. We have a Facebook page. Can you go and give your comments to uh, the people on the web? Just go and visit the site and click on like, or you can even leave some comments if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Thanks, right. Sean. Thank you. You're welcome. So how was that? Let's do a quick recap of some key points. First of all, you need to make sure that the demonstration is going to go off without a hitch. So therefore, you have to keep up with the maintenance of your Mighty Dwarf speaker. Keep it clean. Keep the surfaces that it's going to be in contact clean. Second thing is, you're going to need a variety of different surfaces for the customer to play around with. Some things are going to sound terrible. Some things are going to sound great. But that is what the Mighty Dwarf does, and that's where the customers should have fun with it. The last thing that you need to know is that you need to have a backup supply of music. What happens if the customer doesn't have an iPhone with them? So if you had an MP3 with music on it, or your phone, that would be beneficial. And the last thing is have fun with it. This is not a product that is serious. We want you to have fun and see that the customer can have fun. That's where the customer is going to be using this device. They're going to be using it to share their sounds with their friends and family. And with that, we want you to have a great day. But one more thing. If you have any questions at all, can you please, please, please give us a call or contact us at MightyDwarf.com. We'd be happy to help you troubleshoot your different problems. Have a great day.